What is up YouTube, this is Ted and today we're back with another video on how to make Japanese roofs in Roblox Studio. So this is what we made last time and this is what we'll be making today. So if you haven't seen part 1 already, just go and check it out and the link is in the description. And about the plugins we'll need for this video, they're also linked in the description. So if you don't have them already, just go and install them. And yeah, let's just start with this. So this is what we made last time. Oops. Okay. This is what we made last time. It's a little laggy since the part count is fairly high. So this is what we have and this is what we'll be making in today's tutorial. And it's very easy, it's not something hard. So let's just ungroup it, control U, and hold Alt to select these parts. This isn't a group, so you can just hold Alt to select any part inside a group, inside a model, without unmod ungrouping it. So just hold Alt and Control to select multiple parts at the same time and select both of these. Now open Building Tools by F3X and scale it like, like this. And do the same with the other one right here. Alt, Control, uh, unselect that actually. Alt, Control, and yeah. And scale this one too just like that. Now this is a little imperfect. We can fix that with the resize align plugin. Just click on this part and then click on this one. I mean it's unequal for me, it might not be unequal for you, just depends. So I can fix that. And again, use the same plugin and use it on these sides to get this. Now I think this is a little thin, so we can just kill it. Actually, ungroup all of this first. Okay. We can just kill it a little inwards, like this. This is too thick, actually. Let me change the amount of increments. Okay. Yeah, this should be enough. Same for the other side. Yeah, like that. Actually, it's a little thinner. Okay. And now we need this tough over all of this. So we'll just hold Alt and Control again to select multiple parts inside a model. One sec, okay. And select all of these. And use Building Tools by 3x to scale all of them at once. Like that. And do the same on the other side. like that and now just right click and make sure align dragged objects is turned off okay and now just ungroup this one and duplicate this control d and actually turn it on for now so that it's straight and then turn it off again right click align dragged objects should be off and place it somewhere here like this so this is our top part and we should actually make the bottom thing a little more lengthy, like this. Okay, now just move it and place it like somewhere here. Move it more downwards. Yeah, this should be fine. And use building tools by 3x again and to scale it on the other side like this and well actually there is a little bit of collision here it doesn't really matter because this is a roof so it won't be that noticeable but if you still want to fix it just ungroup this and union all of this so there won't be any collisions anymore no z clashing so this is a fix to that but i don't really have to do that so i'll just keep this grouped now again we need this stuff and this is the same thing, so we can turn Align Correct Objects on for now and duplicate this part and place it here, like this and hit Control L 
to move this on the global axis. This is a quick tip. You can hit Ctrl L to change the axis from local to global and global to local. Right? So a lot of people have problems in this, but this is a very easy solution to it. So place it somewhere like this. More downwards. Yeah, that works. And scale it all the way to here. Duplicate and move it to this edge and place it perfectly according to you. So actually you just select this and move it a little more here. Oops, okay, it's on a different axis. Hold on. Just kill it like this. Same for the other part. Like this. And scale this one too. Yep, now move it towards this side. And place it perfectly here. Now select both of these and hit duplicate, control D, and control R to rotate twice, and place it here, all right, perfect. Now we can actually scale this more outwards, so select scaling on both sides, and scale it outwards a little bit. Now we need some something to fill this in the middle so i i've used wedges you can still use a simple part a slanted part so i have my wedge right here hold on okay and we can place this somewhere like this inside it doesn't need to be perfectly scaled since most of that most of its edges are hidden can be like this. Just make sure it perfectly fits. And now duplicate this and rotate it twice and place it here. Yep, perfect. And now we need something here because this looks a little odd. So I'll just select this part, actually ungroup this. Okay, select this part, duplicate it, and scale it, and place it here, and now scale it according to how I want it to be. Ah, uh, okay, there's something wrong here. I need to move this more outwards. It doesn't look right. And now scale this part a little bit in. All right, that works. And scale this outwards a little bit. Yep, perfect. And this part can go all the way to here. And we can do the same thing on this side. And now we need this tiny detail. Just get a cylinder and make the material metal and the color to whatever you want. I've chosen golden. And place it here. It's a tiny detail. You don't really have to do it if you don't want to, but it just looks a little better. So I think we're done. Let's just select all of this and group it. Now the part count obviously is very high so this is not the best idea for optimized games for proper games but if you're making a, a showcase game or something like that this is the best thing you can do right this is really nice looking but if you're making a proper game I recommend using blender for that so that's optimized this is gonna be laggy in real games
So yeah, we're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I wasn't really posting from a few days since I was really busy with my exams and stuff, but I'll try to post more frequently now. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.